All right, guys, so in my previous video, I shared with you guys a brute one-shot comp that actually counters that one particular team that is going to be the blueberry one-shot comp because of brute stun. However, in this video, just like I promised, I am going to be going over how you guys can build this particular team if you guys have the ability to use and build Moonlight, Stardust, as well as Frost Queen alongside our main DPS, who is going to be the damage dealer, and that is going to be our blueberry pie. So let's go over the topping real quick. First, and it is going to be Hollerberry with five of the Swift Chocolate here, guys. Uh, you want uh, Hollerberry to once again use the skill, put that damage focus as well as a crit uh, resist onto all of our cookies. And in case uh, the enemies do not die right away, you're able to still use your skill relatively quickly and uh, protect our cookies because, again, we don't have any healers for this team because it is going to be quote unquote a one shot comp. All right, so the main focus is going to be definitely on the damage resist, and the higher cooldown you can get, the better it's going to be. If you can get a little bit of attack here and there too, uh, it definitely works out, and it definitely helps out because of the fact that, uh, you know, Hollowberry is extra damage. It's going to help out the team. Next one is going to be our Blue Ray Pie. Blue Ray Pie is using five of the Syrian Raspberry. No extra cooldown is required. The All the focus is going to be going on to the damage as well as the uh, damage resist, okay? So the attack and damage resist are going to be the two main focus here. And one thing that you do need to keep in mind and keep focus is that Blu-ray Pie needs to be the highest attacking cookie in the team. So the attack stat of the uh, cookie has to be the second highest or the first highest in order to receive the whistle buff. All right, next one is going to be our, uh, you know, Stardust. Stardust is using five of the Juicy Apple Jelly because of the fact that Stardust needs to sleep the enemies all right so if uh stardust is able to crit using his skill then he is going to put the enemies to sleep so right after blue ray pie uses her skill puts the stack onto the enemies when uh stardust uses his skill to sleep the enemy it's going to actually give around four to five stacks to blue ray pie all right that's the reason why we're going with five of the juicy apple jelly focusing on the damage resist as well as the cooldown if possible and then the crit percentage all right next one is going to be our moonlight moonlight is a little bit different here so moonlight's topping is really going to depend on your overall stat and the overall ascension and promotion of moonlight so right now in my build i'm using three of the swift chocolate as well as two Syrian raspberry and the reason why i'm doing this is because of the fact that my moonlight uh you know the attack stat can't be higher than frost queen or blueberry pie uh and the extra cooldown uh definitely helps out in case uh you're not able to kill the enemies right away uh then the extra cooldown allows moonlight to use her skill a little bit more like once or twice more before she dies and also allow her to dodge some of the enemy attack as well so we are focusing on damage resist as well as a little bit on cooldown and the extra attack as well but keep in mind that moonlight needs to have less attack all right less attack stat than blue ray pie as well as frost queen next one is going to be frost queen frost queen is using a little bit of a different build as well it really depends on your frost queen's uh stat as well all right the reason why i'm going with four of the Syrian raspberry one solid almond is in my ranking if i verse some of the teams with a little bit of a uh, higher promotion as well as uh, good substats on their toppings then frost queen actually dies and takes the feather buff super super quickly before she's even able to use her skill one time so that's why I decided to go with one solid almond uh, instead of just going with five of the Syrian Raspberry and focusing on the damage resist as well as the attack. No cooldown is required. Uh, but if you can uh, go with five of the Syrian Raspberry and your Frost Queen survives, then you guys can use that as well. But make sure that the whistle buff is applied to Frost Queen as well as Blueberry Pie. And the treasure, just like how it is with the one shot comp, is going to be the whistle as well as the feather and this epic scroll here. So let's get into it, guys. I'm going to show you guys uh, Blueberry Pie absolutely destroying teams, even in the Grandmaster stages. Uh, of course, it is not going to beat every single one of them because uh, if you're not able to kill off their uh, Moonlight, who's kind of in the top tiers right now using full solid almond then it can be risky so if you guys are in grandmaster and above then make sure to look at the promotion of the enemies but for the masters and even uh some of the grandmaster threes uh it definitely works out really really well so let's get into the battle and let me show you guys how this team works out all right guys so here we go we have the double tank double dps as well as the missing here so we're gonna go in with this team and uh you're just gonna see all of them melt away with the laser and here we go, guys. You're going to be able to see Hollerberry use his skill first. And you're going to see Blueberry Pie put the stacks on. Stardust goes, jumps in. And then you're going to be able to see right here that Frost Queen takes a lot of damage. All right. Because of the fact that her skill is last, she's going to be taking majority of the damage in the beginning. That's why 
if your uh, Frost Queen is not surviving, all right, that's the reason why you want to go and put some solid almond on her so that she's able to survive, cast her spell at least one time, and then die off and allow the feather to come, uh, you know, be uh, used, and then she's able to use her skill again because uh, BTS cannot stop your uh, enemies from actually getting frozen, right? They're still going to get frozen, although it may be a shorter time. They're still going to get frozen, and uh, Blueberry Pie will be able to gain those stacks, all right? So that's the reason why we're going with Frost Queen. That's why Frost Queen at least needs to survive in the beginning to cast her spell one time before she dies and heals the cookies with the uh, whistle buff and then uh, use her skill one more time. But you guys can see, absolutely every single one of them just doing so much damage and just destroying Stardust and Moonlight in the beginning. And, uh, you know, they're just gone. Here we go, guys. Another double tank, double DPS. I try to stay away from Feather because sometimes the Feather revive can revive uh, Moonlight on the enemy team. And then she will cast her spell one more time and uh, sleep our cookies again. So it kind of ruins some of the uh, skill order. So I try to go with any of the comps that does not have Feather. So here we go. Here we go, guys. And you're going to be able to see Oliver using skill. Blueberry Pie. You see the Moonlight using skill. Frost Queen uh, barely surviving right there, which is really, really good for us. And then uh, you see the Moonlight uh, just absolutely blowing up. And again, Freeze comes out. Easy, easy. And boom, they're all gone, right? Uh, it's just surviving with the immortality for a little bit longer before, uh, you know, Capsaicin meets his doom. And there you guys go. Once again, uh, it's really, really strong. I mean, uh, against teams that are going to have no feather once again and you can see like you know they don't have a ton of uh, ascension if the enemy has like a four star ascension on like stardust and moonlight i try not to go up against those teams just because of the fact that you know they have probably a really really good toppings uh their overall stats really really high compared to what mine is right now uh, even though i still have pretty good uh, ascension and promotion that's even harder to uh, go up against so if I know for sure, like, oh, these guys have a decent promotion, but not like super, super high ascension, then I can definitely go up against it. But once again, guys, if you guys are in Masters, uh, it should be uh, pretty darn good uh, to use right now inside of the arena. All right, guys, just to show you guys how well this team might work against a Frost Comp, here we go. All right, guys, so here we go. Hollerberry using skill. They have BTS and Pure Vanilla. Uh, Blueberry Pie, Stardust, Moonlight, Frost Queen. And you're going to be able to see the lasers just shooting out. Second laser being going out. And Hollaberry, Pure Vanilla, Sherbet absolutely gets, uh, getting melted. Our Feather is still active. And boom, easy, easy victory. Uh, even against Frost Comp, it's really, really good. Again, uh, another reason why Blue Bay Pie was also really, really good against a normal Frost Comp was because of the fact that when she's shooting out her laser, she's immune uh, to freeze as well. So she can't be interrupted with uh, effects. So that's the reason why Blu-ray Pie against a Frost Comp is also really, really good right now. All right, guys, against a single tank comp this time around instead of a Frost Comp. Let's see how well we do against this one. And here we go. Uh, we're going to be able to see right here this time around. It's going to be the Black Pearl uh, Comp here, uh, which is going to be a little bit difficult too. Uh, hopefully, we're able to use our um, Blu-ray Pie skill. All right, there we go. And uh, never mind. Uh, I thought the Black Pearl was going to do a ton of damage, but not a problem here either. I uh, just need to get rid of Hollerberry now. Uh, that team is also really, really good. But again, against uh, a Blueberry Pie one-shot comp, we're able to destroy them as well. All right, so there you guys go. Blueberry Pie as well as Stardust, Moonlight, uh, Frost Queen, all doing over a million damage and absolutely obliterating their DPSs. But there you guys go. Uh, for anybody who is wondering how you guys can build the Blueberry Pie one-shot comp, this is going to be the build. Once again, guys, uh, Moonlight's uh, toppings are going to really depend on uh, your stats. Uh, you know, you can go with three Syrian Raspberry, two Swift Chocolate as well. You might even be able to go with five of the Syrian Raspberry uh, to even... Uh, increase the overall uh, you know burst damage in the beginning if your blu-ray pie as well as frost queen are able to have the highest attack uh, but if not then uh, mix some swift chocolates in there just so that you have a little bit of extra cooldown uh, and yeah just keep in mind frost queen needs to survive in the beginning all right so that she's able to at least cast a freeze one time and then die heal the team with the feather and then come back alive to uh, freeze the enemy again 
Uh, so just keep that in mind as well. But rest of them, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, these three have been uh, the same toppings ever since. And just these two needs to be uh, matched with how your stats are going to be overall throughout your account. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you guys found the video helpful. If you guys need to counter this team, if you guys do see it, make sure to use the brute comp that I shared with you guys yesterday. But uh, good luck with the arena climb, guys. And I'll see you guys all on the next one.